It's like I've seen this movie before, and yet here we are. History repeating itself. Lots of VGC players at Worlds, since Worlds is happening right now, are getting disqualified from the actual Pokemon Championship, World Championships. I have to keep emphasizing that. Because certain Pokemon did not pass the legality or hack checks that they've been implemented in this series. And it seems like Pokemon is finally stepping up with checking the hacks of Pokemon games and Pokemon themselves. So if you are competing in any official Pokemon tournaments, just I know it's kind of hard to say this, you know, as somebody who is a proponent of Jenning, but if you're going to compete in official tournaments, just get your team legitimately. Don't try to use any bots. Don't try to trade with somebody who's reputable because who knows where they're getting their Pokemon from. But let's get right into it. So Brady Smith, he's a premier VGC player. He said that he got DQ'd at 2-0. Should have gone myself. Should have gone the Mons myself. Half my team was modified gen, which I mean, at least they he admitted it, which is cool. I didn't have Legends Arceus to get the Lando, and I didn't have my copy of Sword and Shield to get Urshifu. I tried trading for the Mons with a reputable trader, but the Mons didn't pass. And he obviously has a Poke Pace. I'm not going to show it because uh, he obviously talks about the Lando and the Urshifu. And I've been doing a lot of research as to why uh, players are getting caught. And for some reason, it has to do something with the SV Home Checker. So if you guys have seen my previous video in regards to PK Hex, there's a... Uh, a little tab that talks about you know the origins of a, of a Pokemon and in there it shows the home tracker if a if a Pokemon came from a different game and went to Pokemon home home slaps them with an ID that enables you to trade Pokemon to different games if you're trying to gen a legal and legit Lando and Urshifu in Scarlet and Violet it's not gonna have a home ID tracker it's all going to come out as 0000. Obviously, that's incorrect because those Pokemon did not originate from Scarlet and Violet. They originate from different generations of games, Sword and Shield. Lando, for example, would be going all the way back to like Generation 5 of Black and White 2. But again, you just have to be really careful with what you're doing. Especially, again, I'm going to keep emphasizing this. If you are a VGC player, if you're an inspiring VGC player, aspiring it's not inspiring franklin who wants to play in official competitive pokemon tournaments get your team legitimately i know it takes hours and to be honest with you if you want a full team of legit pokemon six pokemon that is it can take like 40 hours it's basically like a full-time job trying to get these pokemon with the ivs the evs the movesets everything and obviously, everything matters in VGC, whether it's zero speed for Trick Room, zero attack for foul play, uh, certain EVs in HP and defense in order to you know withstand certain attacks. Obviously, this is a doubles meta game, so things are way different from single player. And another thing that's been popping up are a lot of players with Enamorous are having zero speed IVs. You guys see in the screen, and it's pretty funny because I've actually been checking the teams just like, a face value like yeah zero speed come on like that's nearly impossible especially for a legendary pokemon a legendary pokemon that has a static encounter like that's just not gonna work there's no way you can get a zero speed iv because three ivs are guaranteed on legendary pokemon if i remember correctly and of course, you know, those IVs do get mixed up and stats get mixed up when they get transferred to Pokemon Home. And then obviously with Scarlet Violet, you can do whatever you want. But I just don't really see how you wouldn't get caught. It's just pretty funny that Pokemon all of a sudden now wants to do that kind of stuff. And of course, now Twitter is just going nuts. Like a lot of, you know, I, I keep seeing the VGC <laughs> names on these people and they're saying like, you know, oh, wow, you know, Pokemon is not doing things correctly. And the biggest complaint that I've seen from the VGC community is that, you know, these players have had a year to qualify and they've spent a lot of money traveling, especially when you get to Worlds. I mean, going to Japan is a, a completely different world. 
I mean, literally worlds, <laughs> but you know, it takes a lot of time, money, and effort to get to worlds, especially when you have to qualify and you competing against people who might have giant Pokemon. And the fact that Pokemon at worlds right now are saying, no, your team is not legit. You are, you have been genning stuff. You are DQ'd. It doesn't matter if you're two old, three, or are you making a day two, they're going to ban you. And it's kind of funny that Pokemon is doing that now. Maybe it's because the World Championships are in Japan, the motherland of all Pokemon. <laughs> but on a more serious note, I guess if you want to compare this to, say, you know, let's say in real life, I mean, it is real life, but let's compare it to a car. So there's something called a muffler, and a muffler essentially, you know, muffles the sound from your exhaust whenever you rev your car or, you know, turn it on and you start driving with it. Technically, you can delete your muffler, but it's illegal in all 50 states, if I remember correctly. That's how a state legislator is when it comes to cars. Especially in California, having a muffler being deleted or removed from your car is illegal because there's a good chance that you may have toxic fumes coming out of your car, and that's not really good for the environment. But law enforcement, police in particular, they're not really going to enforce it unless you're blatantly like, doing stupid shit and i kind of feel like it's the same way pokemon is going and again we got more people here from vgc you know this guy for example got disqualified from worlds last round on 4-2 i cannot stop crying so many efforts put into the season for literally nothing canceling the opening less than one month before worlds this new hack check last minute made no sense i wonder why pokemon did that maybe they were like okay we're gonna pump fake these guys into <laughs> believing that you know they're gonna have a smooth ride i wonder what was the process and the mindset i mean of course it's in their rules it's literally in pokemon homes terms and services if you are using illegal pokemon or have altered data or modified pokemon like they have the right to suspend your account they, they have the right to suspend your you know nintendo switch account as well if it's linked into nintendo hey shout outs to neil pokemon central this guy we used to play uh Group versus group. So shouts to him going 5-0 and in Worlds. Awesome for him. Uh, yeah, and honestly, uh, like a lot of people are just complaining, especially the BGC players. But me, personally, there's a lot of controversy. It's, it's been like the biggest controversial topic for years now. Gen versus non-gen. Should you do it or should you not? But here's my opinion, and I already said it, but, you know, emphasize again. If you are competing in an official Pokemon tournament, just try to get your team legit. Don't rely on somebody who is a reputable trader because chances are they're using a different resource that you may not even know. If you don't care about playing competitive online, sure, you can gen whatever you want. But again, you are obligated to follow Pokemon's terms of service. It says those right there if you guys want to check it out. Like if you actually do get caught using illegal gen Pokemon, it's just, you know, you can't really get upset about it because it's in their terms and service. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Now, according to certain sources, there's been, I want to say there's been a lot. I don't know the actual number because this number might be updating as Worlds goes on, but there is a lot, and I mean a lot of people vgc players getting banned it's it's insane um this is something we haven't really seen before and the fact that pokemon's implementing it in this edition of worlds is kind of crazy <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this uh i'm pretty sure we might have another update video shout out to larry i did see his video about this and it kind of inspired me to make a video about this even though it's probably like my third or fourth video talking about vgc and using competitive pokemon whether they are gend or not but here we are you know it's your boy franklin signing out please like and subscribe that is the best way to support me for free see you guys on the next video peace